Canva just dropped their biggest update ever, and the video editor looks completely different. But is it actually better? What do you think? Let's take a few minutes to explore Canva's new video editor 2.0 together. Alright, so here's what the new Canva 2.0 video editor looks like, and I'm going to click over here on video, and now you can see some of the new changes here. So at the top are shortcuts if you want to use them. Some of these are new. Overall, these options are here to help you find the apps easier. AI voices, music, captions, beat sync, magic media, video backgrounds, premium animations, and magic animate. Same as before, you have these options to choose a video type as well as lots of templates down here you can work with, including a lot of new ones. I'll choose landscape and check this out. Now we can see things look different, similar yet different. The new video editor has a very modern, minimalistic Canva look to it. So all our tools that we normally use are over here. Up here at the top, this looks a little different. Now we've got this little box where we can actually add things into it. So let's add this in and see what we get and click on this. You can also talk to it if you want to. So if you have a microphone, you can actually chat with Canva's AI here. Now it's showing us all the templates here that are related to that particular topic we added up here. And let's take a look at the actual editing area here. Wow, so you can see it looks different already. For one thing, we can take this and we can open it up. Okay, so that's a little different. We can put our media in here. We can add audio here. We can put other things up here, so it's all a little different, but similar. Let's just add some things in here. I'll go to the video section and search for beach. So if we find some things that we want to use, we can just drag it in if we want. There it is automatically. You can move this very smoothly, so that's really nice. And if you want to make it match up to a particular area, it just pops into place very quickly, so that's really good. Let's add a few more, maybe this one. We can click on it and add it like that. If it's too long, no problem, we can fix that. Just grab it up here and move it that way. If we just wanted to watch it, we can just click here. So same as before. If we wanna add transitions in between, we can just choose right here. We can add two. And this is a little different. Now we have choices of what we're adding. We can upload something, choose stock video, stock photo, or a blank page. If we click on transitions, we've got those here. For now, I'll just leave it there. And I'll add a transition between these two pages. I think now they're called scenes. So all that's a lot like before. I want you to look at here at the top. Notice now you've got this ask Canva thing. That's new. If you click on that, you can generate text, make an image, or let it give you advice. So this is all new. So if we click on that, the give me design advice, let's see what it tells us. Now it's thinking. Okay, and now it came back with this. Cool. This could be very helpful in certain instances. All right, so we'll go back here and check out some of these other things. Other than that, all these others look pretty much the same as before. So this is all very helpful. Now, if you wanted to, we can scoot this up here. Let's go to audio. I don't know if you've noticed this before or not, but here is where the voiceover control is. So if you wanted to add a voiceover to a video, you could generate an AI voice or you can record your own voiceover. Just click right here, and now it's waiting for you to tell it what to do. Choose whichever microphone that you have available, and then click here to record your voice. And then you just finish it like that. And that is automatically added right here. You can also move it wherever you want to. You could make it louder or quieter too. So we've got that. Let's go back to audio again. Now move over here. If you wanna record using an AI voice, click right here. You can choose any of these. These are premium voices here, and these you can use for free. Type your information here, then choose one of these, and also whatever language you need here. Okay, so we'll choose her, and then click Generate Voice. And now it'll add it right there. And we could always make it louder or softer too. So that's something you can add. Next, I'll come back to audio, and you'll see there's some different things in here. Most of them are premium so you'd need a Camera Pro account to use these. But for now, let's add waves on the beach. I think I'll pick that one. Canva put it right in place. I don't need all that. So I'll double click on it, and you can always move it by double clicking it. When we come to the beginning, we can also click on this. We can fade it out or fade it in. So we will click on that to add this one. And then we can put it the same way. Then I'll duplicate it, being able to do this, now we can see exactly what we need to do without having to really strain our eyes. So that just gives you some ideas of a few new things you can now do. 
In my tests, everything moves very smoothly. It seems to be easier to shift these around than before. Overall, with any new changes, it's just something we'll have to play with and get used to. If we want to add some music, we could click up here and choose something in basically the same way. But I prefer to get my music in my YouTube audio library to be safe. Either way, you can easily change all this up pretty fast. Louder, softer, whatever. Okay, there is one more thing I want to show you that you can now do. So what I'll do is come up here to Canva AI and then go to Video Clip. Notice this is a pro feature, but I wanted to demonstrate it for you. Click on this, put your prompt here, then choose your style, etc. I'm not going to choose any of these for now. Choose audio or no audio if you want, and check out these others. I'll make it an over the shoulder shot with soft lighting. Once you've got all that, click here. If you've got a microphone, you can also chat with the AI here. But for now, I'll put my prompt there and click go. Now it's taking my prompt and making a video for me. I'll come back here when it's done. Okay, so actually that took about 45 seconds, so let's watch it. Yeah, that'll work. If I didn't like it, I could type in something here and then rerun it, but I'm perfectly happy with this. So I will download it. I'm going back to my project and what I'll do is come over here to uploads and drag this in. Then I'll put it right there. I'll duplicate that to fit and drag this over a little. Next, I'll add another transition. And then there we go. And then now that I'm done, I'll just come up here to share, click download. Then once it's done, I'll be ready to upload it to my social media, website, YouTube, etc. But I did just wanna show you around the new video editor. So come to Canva and play with it and see what you think. There is one last thing I do wanna show you. So I'll go back to the homepage. So if you just absolutely don't like the new editor and you want to change back to the old one, here's a workaround for you. Go to the homepage, click here on your image, click on settings, and then scroll all the way down and turn this setting off right here. And then this way you won't have the new editor feature turned on. Have fun playing around with it and let me know what you think about it in the comments below. And if you love finding out about crazy cool AI tricks before everyone else, Subscribe now so you're the first to know when new AI tools drop. Until next time, keep creating, keep innovating, and keep making it with AI. Thanks for watching.